You've likely heard about thieves targeting construction sites, ripping off expensive equipment. Tonight, Chicago police believe they've uncovered a huge theft operation resulting in the recovery of nearly half a million dollars worth of stolen goods. CBS 2's Jermon Terry reports from Englewood on how one victim was able to break open this ring. This has been the scene all day and night. Flatbed trucks pulling up to this Englewood warehouse where expensive and downright heavy construction equipment that was reported stolen all ended up. Now some business owners are able to get back what was stolen. This as police begin a probe, which is massive, dating back nearly two years of stolen construction equipment. CPD standing guard as construction equipment rolls out of this warehouse. There's the model of the machine. I pulled up, the door was open, and I could see the skidster in plain view. Here's a look at the $95,000 piece of equipment Ben Casper is talking about. Last week, thieves stole it from his construction site in South Suburban Harvey. They ripped out the phony GPS tracker I put in it, but the real GPS tracker was in it and that got me notified of this location. Ben came here to 58th and Lafayette. Said, screw this, I'm getting my stuff back. And listen to what he did next. I walked up in there and just took the equipment back and then looked around and said, this other stuff's probably stolen too. Despite nearly $500,000 of reported stolen equipment inside, the guy was so caught off guard by Ben's actions, gets this. He called the police on himself because he was so scared of me. And when officers arrived, they found an abundance of stolen construction gear. Just got a bunch of idiots who were stealing stuff and using it for work. But it cost Jesse Young a lot. It was like my life was gone. I pulled up and nothing I left there was there. Jesse rushed down to Inglewood to recover this trailer and a concrete breaker, all items he believed he would never see again after thieves hit up his South Holland cement company back in 2020. Thank God we got it back and we caught these people and able to shut them down. Now, police did take one person into custody. Not sure if it's the owner of the building, but we do know charges are pending and this investigation is ongoing. In Inglewood, Dramat Terry, CBS 2 News.